Good morning and welcome to Poem Physics 365. Physics every single day of the year. Physics past, present, and future. The podcast doors are closing. Well, all right. Hello, friends, and welcome to the Poem Physics 365 zone, where we are doing physics all the time. Physics every single day of the year. And here, Tuesday, 26th of January, 2016, let's take a look. On this day in physics, 26th of January, 1911, we're going to say happy birthday to Polycarp Cush, Nobel Prize winning physicist who shared the prize in 1955 with Willis Lamb from the Nobel Prize website. This, the Nobel Prize in Physics 1955 was divided equally between Willis Eugene Lamb for his discoveries concerning the fine structure of the hydrogen spectrum and Polycarp Cush for his precision determination of the magnetic moment of the electron. So apparently um, the magnetic moment of an electron was calculated to be something and he actually uh, determined that it was much higher and so for that they gave him the Nobel Prize in 1955. And today we say happy birthday to someone named Polycarp. Very interesting name. So let's take a look at the word of the day. Magnetic moment, which is of course related to our Nobel Prize winning birthday boy. And a magnetic moment is related to the amount of torque generated by an object in the presence of a magnetic field. If you're a totally electrically neutral object, your moment is zero. Neutrons, for example, will travel through a magnetic field as if it wasn't there. Now, if you're something like an electron or a planet or a charged atom, or a current carrying wire, the situation is slightly different. It can be thought of as a vector, or an arrow of a specified length and direction, for any given item that you are considering. For the extremely small, like electrons, studied by our birthday boy Polycarp, the magnetic moment is dependent on the particle's spin and some constants, notably Planck's constant and the Bohr magneton. Maybe future words of the day, guys? Let's see. For something like a current carrying wire, it's related to the diameter of the wire as well as the current traveling through the wire. This magnetic moment is important because the overall magnetic properties of a material are highly dependent on the magnetic moments of their component atoms. Anything that you see in everyday life that deals with magnets, i.e. the ones that stick to your fridge, the ones in your speakers, etc., are behaving this way because of the component magnetic moments of the atoms which make up the materials mostly things that are called ferromagnetic or dealing with iron. So that is what sort of a brief brief dive into what a magnetic moment is. But it's a very interesting thing because it, it, it shows how uh, something will move in a, a magnetic field. If you have an electron in the presence of a magnetic field, it'll bend a certain way depending on the strength of the field. And so that brings us to our um, killer resource, which is a YouTube video which shows the motion of a charged particle in a magnetic field, which is dependent on its magnetic moment, of course, and uh, the strength of the field. And it's actually going to show something that's uh, going in a spiral-type motion. So head on over to the blog, pwnphysics.blogspot.com, if you want to check out that killer resource. And uh, I think that's going to do it today, guys. The, uh, the music is taking over. So <laughs> with that, I hope you dug the magnetic moment, and you'll uh, come back tomorrow for a little more. So with that, I'll catch you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Resume normal life functions.